I don't mind how soon I'm about legit medicine videos. Please make sure to subscribe, join the forum and group for the latest videos. Please visit Facebook, I'm on Hasuga. Please like, and here you can also ask questions, answer questions, and post some interesting things, including your artworks. You can also change the quality settings to the highest one for better graphics. In this video, we'll look, talk about pinworms. The thing you get, most likely, when you're a child, or most people. Pinworms are caused by the worm, called Enterobius vermicularis. Um, but tens of thousands of Australians, particularly, are thought to uh, carry this worm asymptomatically. This worm essentially comes from an egg. So here we have an egg. This is the infective form. Inside the egg, um, the egg contains lava. The egg itself is about 50 to 60 micrometers by 25 micrometers um, in in, in uh, width. It's a seed-like colorless shape and is, is transparent. When the egg or the larva becomes a worm, the worm can be either female or male. A female worm makes more eggs. A male worm is a lot shorter than the female and helps in uh, and helps the female in mating to produce more eggs. So let's see how Enterobius vermicularis causes an infection, causes pinworms in a human body. It's important to know that pinworms, Enterobius vermicularis, uh, is thought to only target humans as hosts for reproduction. So here I'm drawing a human with the gastrointestinal tract because Enterobius vermicularis uh, and causes, causes pinworms in humans uh, starting from the digestive system. I'm also drawing a bum here because this is where the female worm will implant its eggs onto, causing an itch-like symptom on this human. So now let's begin and see how a pinworm infection is caused. Uh, the first thing that could happen is that contaminated food, water, with vermicularis eggs can be ingested by this human. A small number of eggs may also become airborne and inhaled. Because these eggs are so small, they can be inhaled and they can itself cause a pinworm infection. So these eggs are inhaled or ingested into this human and the eggs goes down through the gastrointestinal tract to the small intestine. So following ingestion of the infective eggs, the larva will hatch in the small intestines. The larva will become either a male worm or a female worm. A male worm is about 5 millimeters long, female worm is about 10 millimeters long. So here you can see the infective eggs in the small intestines hatching, the larva will become worms. It can become a male worm or a female worm as shown here. Now the adult male and adult female can migrate to the colon, the large intestines, and then mate. The male dies after mating and, and the adult female begins moving to the rectum area about one month later. So here uh, the worms migrate to the colon, they can mate, the female survives. Now the gravid female will migrate nocturnally outside the anus and ovipost, which basically means lay eggs, while craw crawling on the skin of the perianal area meaning that the female worm will essentially go slowly out of the rectum and lay eggs in the bum area. The larva inside the eggs can mature four to six hours after the ovipost. So the eggs, the larva within the eggs can actually mature four to six hours after the female implanted those eggs there. And so retroinfection can occur where newly hatched larva can actually move back inside the rectum and cause, and cause the infection again, making the bum still itchy. So obviously the symptoms uh, would include an it itching around the anus, which is quite normal. And also by touching the anus and scratching it, you can cause contamination. And it's so easy to uh, contaminate things with these eggs because they're so small. 
To diagnose pinworms, we can inspect the worms in a perianal area, the bum, basically two to three hours after the infected person is asleep, because you could see most likely the worm crawling out of the bum and laying eggs there two to three hours after a person is asleep. Or you could apply adhesive tape, which is normally done by doctors, apply adhesive tape to the perianal skin when the person wakes up and before they have a shower. And we, can have, we have to do this three consecutive days in three, in three consecutive days. So we get the tape early in the morning, and it should have on it eggs or eggs and stuff. And then with this, we can uh, we can visualize these eggs within with an anal smear using a microscope. And if we can obviously see eggs, this person would be uh, suffering from pinworms. Treatment of pinworms inclu include merin, merin, mebindazole, um, pyrental palm weight, I hope I pronounced this right, and albindazole. We give one dose initially, then a second dose two weeks later to prevent reinfection. And that concludes the video on pinworm infection caused by Enterovirus vermicularis. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.